The East African Rift, often referred to as the Rift Valley, has a profound effect on the development of the human race. The changes that the Rift is still undergoing will continue to impact the world around it. So what is the Rift? What is happening? And why is it so important? Well, the Rift is caused by movements in the tectonic plates. Around the Rift, there's a substantial amount of volcanic activity along with earthquakes and other seismic events. The rift itself stretches from the coast of Mozambique and heads up north through Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia and Eritrea. And it then splits in two, going around the Arabian Peninsula, following the line of the Red Sea in a northwesterly direction, as well as heading east into the Indian Ocean. And this watery divide that splits off the Arabian plate from the plates in the south provides a key indicator for the future of the rift valley. The south and west of the Arabian Plate is now not just one tectonic plate, but two. There's a large African plate is splitting into two diverging plates. The larger of the two new African plates to the west of the rift covers most of Africa, stretches out halfway across the Atlantic, and slowly heading in a northwesterly direction. There's a smaller Somali plate is heading in a southeasterly direction. As these two plates move slowly apart, crack is opening up between these two plates, and that crack is the Rift Valley. Rift itself started to form about 25 million years ago, and it's still on the move today. Slightly, this movement has been driven by a mantle plume, or rising hot rock, underneath the Afar region of Ethiopia. This plume has provided the magma for the volcanoes which litter the west side of the Arabian Peninsula, and run along the length of the Rift Valley. Now many of these volcanoes are currently active, but the political instability in some of these regions means that the monitoring of volcanic activity is limited, so as a result we have limited knowledge of when these volcanoes might erupt again. The crater of one of these volcanoes, the Ngorogoro crater, which last erupted about 2 million years ago and covers an area of 100 square miles, is so rich and fertile, has its own ecosystem living inside the crater as part of the much larger Serengeti National Park. The Rift Valley is now about 40 miles across and about 4,000 miles long. Prolonged volcanic activity in the area means the soil in the rift and the surrounding area is extremely rich in minerals that have been brought to the surface by the volcanic activity and haven't yet leached or been washed away by rainwater. This means that the Rift Valley its warm climate, high seasonal rainfall, and large areas of savanna surrounding the rift produce near ideal conditions for a succession of early hominids to develop. Without these conditions, it's probable that none of us would be here today. However, the two plates are continuing to move apart. The rift itself is going to continue to widen, and eventually, in about 10 million years, the crust will fully rupture, and the ocean water will flow down the valley. Then the African continent will be split in two, and Madagascar will have a new neighbouring island about four times its size.